We are Nigantlaka, the indigenous people of this continent. We are still here. 95% of our people were killed by Europeans. 70 to 100 million human lives of our people throughout our continent were killed with the use of smallpox by Europeans. We were killed so that Europeans could steal our lands from us, so that they could steal our wealth from us, and to enslave the remains of our population, so that Europeans could have free land, our land, and to make themselves wealthy. We are the 5% of our people who remain from the Holocaust of our people in the genocide of the 1500s through the 1800s. They did not want to buy our wealth, nor trade, nor to do any of those other honest dealings. They came here as criminals, terrorists, slavers, pirates, as thieves in the night. They stole 100% of our lands, all of our continent, Everything they have is stolen. Everything they have is ours. And we have nothing. We have nothing. We are Nicantlaca, the indigenous people of this continent, the collective owners of this continent. We are still here. We have not disappeared. But it seems as if we have disappeared. We need to speak up, to speak up as educated Nicantlaca, as part of a disciplined, honorable people. They have not killed all of us. We have not totally been destroyed. They have just crippled us and enslaved us. We are not dead in body, just dead as an honorable people, as a free people. But honor can be regained by men and women who want to regain it. We can be liberated from this European slavery, this European hell that they have made for us. We can be educated to be liberated, Nicantlaca educated, for liberation, for total liberation. But Nicantlaca education is a lot of work. It is complicated and it is years of study, but it can be done. It is being done now. We, the Mexica movement, do this now. We have gained great insights from our study. We now know the truth of who we are. We know that we have not survived intact, that we have been mutilated, dehumanized, impoverished, enslaved, and left without a history, without honor, and without warriors to defend our people. This was done to keep us as perpetual slaves of the white race. We can change all that. We can liberate ourselves. We are Nicantlaca, the indigenous people of this continent. We are still here. We can change ourselves from ignorant to knowledgeable, from slaves of the white race to a free and independent people throughout our continent, from the north to the south. This is still our land. Our rivers are still ours. Our mountains, our deserts, our valleys, our farmlands, they are still ours. They belong to no one else. The Mississippi, it's ours. The Amazon, it's ours. The Ohio, the Colorado, the Andes, the Appalachians, the Sierra Madre, they are all still ours. All of the beauty and the wealth of our continent is still ours and no one else's. This is not the land 
the continent of the Europeans, no matter how many lies they tell us or how many injustices they commit. The Europeans have Europe. They have Europe to go to. We have nowhere else to go. We are Nicantlaca, the indigenous people of this continent. We will always be here. We have nowhere else to go. We will not be quiet. We will not allow Europeans to continue to claim our continent, our lands, without resistance, without protest, without struggle, without dedicating our lives to liberation. We will not allow uncontested European ownership of our lands, our continent. Not one inch of our lands will we ever surrender willingly. We are Nicantlaca, the indigenous people of this land. We are still here. We are the Mexica movement. We are the warriors upholding the honor of our ancestors, telling truth, demanding justice, demanding liberation. We will not allow theft, the crimes, to continue. Yes, it is 100% theft to claim our lands, to claim our continent, when it is not their land, while we still live. This is all our land, this is all our continent. We have to say this again and again, almost to remind ourselves. We have woken from our sleep of ignorance, of fear, of dishonor. We are the Mexica movement. We do not fear the white race. We do not fear white supremacists. We do not fear the beast of white supremacy, the men and women of evil. We only fear dishonor. We only fear lacking courage. We only fear treason to our ancestors. We are Nicantlaca, the indigenous people of this continent. We are still here. Let us be clear that we are not against the white race as a race, as a people, as fellow human beings, as equals in humanity. We are against the evil people, the white supremacists, the savages, the men and women of empty souls who only wish us harm, who have tried to exterminate us for the last 500 years. We are against white supremacy, against the evil ones who have committed a holocaust against our people, who have killed 95% of our people, 70 to 100 million human lives of our people. These are the evil savages of Europe who came with Columbus and the Spaniards, who came with the English to Roanoke and Jamestown and Plymouth Rock. These were evil, genocidal people who killed our people, stole our wealth, the wealth of our continent, and left us in ruins, in poverty, in disgrace and dishonor, and enslaved us to the white race. We do not believe that all white people are evil, but we also know that all white people have benefited from the evil of their white supremacist brothers and sisters.